Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we'd do a sort of how I'm loving doing my makeup at the moment with my favourites of them at the moment. So some of my favourites are the same as last month just because I'm still using the same foundation and concealer and loving them. So I'll put them on and then we'll talk to talk about my favourite products as and when we get to them. So first of all, just going to prime my face using the Stilla One Step Primer. Then I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Coverage in Porcelain. Right, so that's my foundation on. Then I'm just going to go in with the normal Tarte Shape Tape. So yeah, I don't know what my favourite was last month, but this month I've been using the Illamask Loose Powder. Um, I didn't like this for ages, but I seem to have got somewhere with it now and I actually enjoy using it. So I'm going to do that. I don't usually, like in the winter and stuff, I don't powder my face, but because it's been so hot, I have been powdering recently and actually enjoying doing it. It does it does make a difference with it lasting, and luckily this stuff doesn't dry me out too much. I do have dry skin, but this, which is still on my chin, this doesn't actually dry me out that much, so I am enjoying using it. I am just going to go off camera and do my eyebrows. Still using my ABH Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. Okay, so brows are on and looking weird. Don't know what's going on with them. I am going to next go in with the eyeshadow palette that I'm loving, which at the moment is this Juvia's Place, the Zulu palette, which the colours are just... How pretty are they? They're just beautiful. So yeah, at the moment I'm really liking, oh no, I need the other palette as well. And then also the Magic palette by Juvia's Place, which just looks like this. So I've kind of been using the gold and the red out of this palette, which I mean, look at that gold. And I mean, I've literally just kind of stuck my fingers in the red and it's everywhere. But yeah, that gold is incredible look at that literally I just adore the Juvia's Place palettes I think they are amazing the pigmentation and the quality is great the only issue I have is with this one here which is supposed to be a purple if you can see and it is really really pigmented but to the point that I can't even blend it it just it just sticks and it does not move if any of you follow me on Instagram, you probably know full well that at the moment I'm really liking um, oranges, yellow, red, gold at the moment with a nice bright lip. So I'm just going to get all the brushes that I need and then I'll be back. So first things first, I'm going to go into this palette and just pick this colour, Kessie, Kessie, and I'm literally going to put that all over the lid and then you want to keep this brush to come back to later then we're gonna do away with this palette for a little bit and we're gonna go into the Zulu palette and first things first we're gonna take this yellow put it into the crease and bring it up so taking a different fluffy brush this one I've been using for yellow lately so it's yellow already but you kind of want a different fluffy brush for each color we're going to use I like the fact this goes on, it's not super intense. It is pigmented, it blends beautifully and it's buildable. You don't put it on, you're like, oh my god, I've put so much yellow on my face and I've got nowhere to go with it. It is blendable and buildable. So now that that yellow's on, we're gonna go in with that fluffy brush we went in to start with. And I'm just gonna go over the edges slightly. Then let's ditch the yellow brush for a little bit. And let's go into this orange so the only thing about this palette it has no palette name like um shade names so tap into the orange and we're just going to focus that more on the crease just 
see how that goes on it just it just blends so nicely together I'm gonna go back in with the yellow and blend over these orange edges did you see how nicely that's blended from like hard to show on camera but it's like yellow around the outside and also be sure to blend this like outer corner so you've got the same the same gradient on this outer edge just here so it goes orange to yellow at the edge okay then we're now going to go back to the magic by Juvia's Place palette and go into this Kogi colour once again another brush I've been using this one for red into this red colour and then sort of on the lid and blend into the orange this colour does play off a little bit more pink I think it's really hard to get a proper true red but when we've done our sort of halo eye we will go back in with some wet of that colour and try and just increase the pigmentation to more of a red than a pink. I'm going back in with that orange brush and just once again going over the edge of that ready pink we've just put down. Once again the same with the yellow. So we're just constantly blending them colours till we get the perfect gradient that we want. So we're just going to go in with a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape and this little brush that I'm using as my concealer brush. We're going to dip into it and we're just going to like cut out the middle a little bit. So And then while it's still wet we're going to go back into the Magic by Juvia's Place and go into this colour which is Nubia? Nubia? Nubia. With a flat brush, just, uh, this is just a little detailer brush by The Real Techniques. I'm just going to go in with that and pack it on top. On another flat brush, we're just going to try picking up some of this Kogi colour from the Magic palette again. I'm just seeing if we can just kind of pack that red on and then we're just going to go back in with this orange brush and just go over these edges again and then once again the same with the yellow then we're going to bring the orange just underneath the eye a little bit and then go in with the yellow around the edges of that. So that's that eye done for now with the eyeshadow. I'm gonna go do the other eye off camera and then I'll be right back. So that is the eyeshadow finished. Then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the gold. Surprise, surprise. What am I gonna do? Actually, I'm just gonna do along the lash line. That is on, and that is just the LA Splash Galleons Gold Glitter Liner. While that is drying, I'm just going to go in with what I'm currently still using to contour. Then I'm still using the Art Deco Bronzer. And then my new favourite blusher at the moment is the Milani Luminoso Blusher. Everyone on YouTube uses this blush, thought I'd give it a go, and it doesn't disappoint, does it really? I will say if you don't like sheen in your blusher you probably won't like this because it has got a bit of a highlight to it. How does everyone else feel about blusher? I can't decide personally whether I like it or dislike it. I don't like too much but what's everyone else's opinions? Do you like blusher? 
is it making a massive comeback? I want to know your thoughts. Then for highlighter at the moment I've been loving this Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter. It is probably a bit too dark for me but I'm a little bit tanned at the moment. I'm way too obsessed with highlighter. To just take this tiny little accent brush from Real Techniques and some of this and just put it in my inner corner and my brow bone. Now, before we move on and do mascara and lips, I'm just going to use this Revolution Hyaluronic Fix. Um, it's just a fixing spray that I think has got hyaluronic acid in it. I find it helps keep my face looking nice and dewy and keeps my face, keeps my makeup intact all day. So I'm just going to give myself a good spritz of that. Then I'm going to go in with this Miss Lynn Made to Stay Eyeliner in wedding day i'm just going to put that in my waterline and then we're going to curl them lashes then i'm currently going in with two mascaras i think this benefit roller lash was on my favorites last month still loving it need a big size one because i'm sure my little one will run out at some point so that's the roller lash on i'm going to let that dry and then we'll go in with this Ico Black Magic Mascara, which now it's dried out a little bit, I really, really like. In fact, while that's drying, we're gonna go in with this beaut. How lush is this color? This is Jeffree Star's Coral Fixation, which I'm just loving. I wear this when I'm doing like a no makeup day with, like I said earlier, just BB cream, mascara and a bit of highlighter, and then this. This is just stunning. I love it. When you put it on as well, it's not too orange. It's got a bit of, I'd say, a ready undertone to it. So it isn't too much. But yeah, I love this baby. And that is that colour on, the Coral Fixation. Now... We're going to go in with some of the Ico Black Magic just over the top of the mascara we've already got on. Loving this. I wasn't the biggest fan of this, but like I said, now it's dried out. I do actually really, really like it. It, was, it seemed really, really wet to start off with, whereas now it's kind of got the right... And I, I like the tube. I like it's like a squeezy tube. Better not do that too much. I might, I don't know, squirt mascara everywhere. So that is that on. So that concludes. This is my current favourites. Excuse my hair, it is an absolute mess. It needs straightening, but I washed it this morning and it's taken like, I don't know, I washed it around nine. It's like three, four o'clock, and it is still damp. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up like this video for me so I know what you guys like watching if you're not yet subscribed please subscribe to my channel it would mean so much to me and it means you get to see every time I upload a new video hopefully my internet will be sorted by the time this goes up so I'm hoping to have a regular uploads on a Tuesday and a Friday thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video